Today we're making a very simple and very easy to make Eva foam doll that will also be a pencil topper. Now chances are you have seen something similar to this before but just felt completely intimidated and never tried making it. Well I am here to tell you that after this tutorial you will realize they are just so much easier to make than you thought. We'll also be giving you some alternatives particularly with the hair because you know a girl's hair is kind of a big deal. This is going to be a lot of fun so let's get started. Now, I would say the best thing about this project is you don't need any measurements, okay? Just pick a pen or a pencil you want to use for your pencil topper and go from there. And you'll want a small skin tone strip and whatever skin tone you want really, you know, about one and a half or two inches. Now, for this whole project, you will want a very strong, very quick to dry glue. You know, the kind that glues your fingers together if you're not careful. <laughs> so just make sure to watch out for your fingers. Okay, so next we add a blue strip. Well, you can make it whatever color you prefer. We're making our clothes blue here. This is a slightly smaller strip, you know, width-wise, and that you want to make a full turn and then a small seam for the glue. Before gluing it though, we will fold it in half and cut a little triangle off like so. And that's actually our top neckline. You'll see what I mean in a bit. <laughs> Add glue to the start and the end of the strip and wait for it to dry for just a few seconds. Next step, we got a different color Ava and we are using this flowery yellow right here. And here's how you score Ava. We have this leather punch right here, but you can use any other pointy tool, you know, it doesn't even need to be very sharp. So here we go. You can't really see it right here, but it is there and you'll be able to see it too when you mark yours. And now we cut. A regular scissor will do, but we are going with this pinking shear scissor just to make it look cuter. And now it gets kind of weird because now we get our hair flat iron and we heat up our Ava. And yes, you can use a regular iron, but this is just easier to control. We want to heat it up so we can manipulate it as we please. But you do want to heat it without melting it, okay? Now once our foam is warm enough and softer, we fold it just like so, you know, kind of in a cross pattern. And we continue pressing it to the desired shape until it cools down. Now, where I'm from, these dolls are called fofushes. <laughs> what are they called where you are? If you know, just leave me a comment below, I'd love to know. Okay, next step, cutting a hole at the top of our cross. It needs to be big enough to fit our pencil with the Ava we've added through it in the beginning, okay? And there's our skirt. Now to glue it in place like so. Now all we need to do is add a little belt to cover up these seams. Let's add a bit more clothing to our doll, shall we? We cut a rectangle that's slightly wider than the blue torso for our doll and lengthy enough to go round that torso because we are making the jacket. And if this is confusing to you, just watch how we do it so you can do the same. Now 
Meanwhile, we have switched our glue bottle because we needed, you know, a little bit more precision because fingers were getting glued and stuff like that. Now, I will be linking these tiny bottles if you want me to, but to be honest, for this project with this kind of glue, if you're using one of these bottles, you will only get to use it once because the glue will dry and it will probably end up drying before the project is over. So what I'm saying here is these bottles are awesome, very high precision, but they work much better for other glues. Any other glue, really. <laughs> as long as it doesn't get dried in here, because that's what's going to happen with our glue. But let's keep going. Okay, now we are starting to glue our jacket on and now we will fold that extra Ava to make our collar like so. and then trim the extra jacket fabric as needed. It's coming together guys! <laughs> now she has a skirt, a top and a jacket. No arms or head though, but you know, we're working on it, because next are the arms. Now we got back to our original strip and we cut out a tiny arm with the hand at the end. <laughs> now I do advise you to draw it before cutting, you know, just to make sure you get it right. It's all about proportions, so keep that in mind, okay? After cutting the first, use it as a template for the second, you know, just to make life easier for yourself. Next step is to make some sleeves for our arms because it's still kind of cold and we did make a jacket, didn't we? We take a rectangle from the same fabric <laughs> as we did for our vest and our skirt, although you could use a completely different color if you prefer, it will look very cute. But we're yellow fans, so we're keeping with it, even though we are using the back, so no flowers. I mentioned proportions, and if you look at yourself in the mirror, you will notice that your arms fall a bit lower than the waist, right? So that's actually how you will want your rectangle to be, you know, so the doll's hands will fall below her waist. Now we fold our fabric around the arm and glue it together like so. Next, we are cutting our shoulders, let's say like that, <laughs> and we're good to go. Repeat with our second arm, two arms ready to go. Now guys, the part I think you've been waiting for, let's make the doll's head. We take a small styrofoam ball and you'll want to find something to place your ball on top of, you know, just to make life easier for yourself. This right here is a pill container. First step is wrapping a double side piece of tape around your ball. Next, get a skin colored piece of Eva foam big enough to cover it. Now we need to make sure to soften it up, you know, in order to be able to mold it. So we need our flat iron once again. We want it warm, but not melted, okay? Now we take our ball and we press the foam square into the ball like so. We're pressing it and keeping it pressed until it cools down. So it will, you know, cool down in that shape. Cut the extra foam around the double-sided tape and that's our face, ready to go. Next step is our hair. Now we got a brown Eva foam square and we will need a flat iron once more. 
and then we just do the exact same thing on the bare side of our styrofoam ball. And after cutting the excess, we glue this last layer onto the styrofoam ball like so. Okay, now for the hairdo. And this is where we start to have even more fun, okay? We are going to try different fringes and ponytails and all sorts of things. Ugh, I can't wait, let's go. We will need one brown hair square and three brown hair strips, two wider and one smaller. We take the smaller one and make a fringe like so. Cute, right? Let's try it again. Now this one will need to be warmed a little bit, although we've all had a couple of bad hair days with our fringes pointing forward, you know, instead of down. <laughs> But this doll doesn't need that. Second fringe, done. And next is the ponytail with our larger bronze square. Let's do it. First we cut skinny strips and then we roll them into a tight tube like so. Then we glue it together. Now, any ponytail needs a cute band, right? Like so. Okay, let's assemble our head. Ready? First is our fringe, and this is the one I ended up picking.
Now, what if instead of the ponytail we made her a bun? Or two? <laughs> So we take one of our strips and we fold it in half like so. And then we cut. And then we roll. And that's our bun right there. Very cute, don't you agree? Now before we decide, let's attach our head to the rest of her body. Now about gluing the head, make sure it's in the right angle, okay? You don't want to glue it on the hair, but you don't want it to be on the skin alone either, you know? Making it kind of a half and half to make sure she's looking straight ahead like we did here. Okay, I think our ponytail is a winner, so we'll go with that. And if we make two, we get pigtails, which I think will also look pretty cute. Maybe add a little bow. And here we have them guys, our Eva foam dolls that are also pencil toppers. And as you can see, we have made one for each hairstyle, so you can see how they look once they're finished. Also, you know, we have added little faces to them, nothing major, and this is totally up to you. You know, it depends on how good you draw or how simple you want to keep it. This is what we made, and if you would like me to make a video on how we drew their faces, just let me know and I'll just set it up for you, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video, I know we had a blast, and I will see you for our next one.